Okay, um, right, let's uh, let's break that down into different sections. So first of all we'll look at the, the verse. And the first chord is E with an added ninth. You now the full chord is that. Which is it's quite a handful really, um, not quite so bad. Oh, with the th on the third fret. I should say that all the chord names that I give uh, on this video and in the document that you can download will be relative to the capo. Uh, now, I don't actually bother to play the full chord. I just play the G sharp and the F sharp. I don't play the A string. I don't pick the A string at all. So I just leave it. Now, this is this is something that I do a lot. You'll see throughout this tutorial. Um, you know, the more selective you can be with your right hand, then the better, the cleaner you can play. And still get the same sort of richness. The next chord is G sharp minor 7th. Again, I don't bother with the A string. So I can play, hold that very simply as a, as a bar. The next is A. Again, I don't play the, uh, I don't play the, the bottom or the top E there. And then C sharp minor seventh. So let me just sing that. I remember Richard Nixon back in '74 and the final scene at the White House door. And repeat. And the staff lined up to say goodbye. Tiny tear in his shifty little eye, he said. Next chord is D major ninth. So it's like a D major 7th, but with the open E. Nobody knows me. E9. Nobody understands. C sharp minor 7th. D major 9th. These little people were good to me. Now the next bit is probably the trickiest bit in the whole song. Just I'll just play it at a uh, slow speed. Oh, I want to see some hands. And that's the end of the verse. Now let's just go through that little run there. The chords are actually G sharp seventh suspended fourth. And then that resolves to the G sharp seventh. And exactly the same thing slid down two frets. So that's F sharp suspended fourth, F sharp seventh suspended fourth, F sharp seventh. But there's a couple of little niceties in there. First of all, he gets. A, um, a little run, a little internal run there, which goes. So he goes. Do that again. Yeah. The other thing he does is he alternates the bass strings with his thumb. So he plays the A, E, A, E string. So that's actually. So it sounds like this. Okay, that's the verse. All right, now the chorus. The first chord is an, uh, an inversion of F sharp minor seventh. It's the F sharp, second fret E string, A, open, E, second fret. D string, A, 2nd fret, G string, open B, open E. Line them up. Next chord is B 4th. Line them up. So line them up. Line them all. Now, there's only one finger different there, which is the 2nd finger, which I go from the F sharp to the B. Line them up. Line them all. Next chord is G sharp minor seventh. It's the same as the first chord, but slid up. But you can't play the A string this time. Line. Next chord is C sharp seventh. Easy. It's like the C seventh, classic C seventh shape, slid up one fret. Line. Okay, so carrying on with the chorus, you repeat that series up to the G sharp minor seventh. Line. Line. This is where things change. A little run here. Line them up, line them all up. So that's G sharp set, uh, minor seventh, 
and then on the D string you just slight go down to the from the fourth to the third fret, which is actually C sharp seventh with a G sharp bass. Slide the whole thing down two frets and do the same. So that's F sharp minor seventh and B seventh with the um, F sharp bass. And you'll notice again there's a little internal run you want to pick out there. So let me just run through that uh, chorus again. Drops into the next verse. Now at the end of the second verse, uh, after the second chorus rather, there's a bridge. And the first chord is an E minor ninth. So that's you don't play the A string. So that's E, F sharp, open G, D, E. But you actually, um, the F sharp there on the D string, you slide up to that. You play the bass string, then you play the E, second fret, slide up. Open G and then the D. Oh, I've seen chord. Right, that's F sharp seventh augmented. So that's an F sharp. But don't play the A string at all. Play the D. Play the third string, uh, the fourth string, which is the E, and then the. The B flat, which is the uh, natural third for that chord, and then the D, which is the augmented, and then the F sharp. Now it's a strange way that I'm playing that. Um, you'll notice that that would probably be more normal, or maybe that I'm playing it that way around. And then I go to the next chord. I'll, I'll explain why I do that in a moment. Go to the next chord, which is B minor seven. Now the reason I uh, the reason that I play that rather strange way is that means I can anchor one finger, this second finger here. Um, so if I if I play that uh, opening slide with my third finger, so my second finger ends up on the D there. Then that's anchored there. That doesn't move for the next next two chords. Oh, I've seen corn in Kansas. Makes for much cleaner, um, much cleaner chord changes, and I, I do that sort of finger anchoring thing quite a lot. I don't know if it's a common technique or not. There's a little hammer on that B minor seventh, but it's called is C, and then it's D with an F sharp bass. Well, I've seen chord in Kansas. Open G. Well, I've seen corn in Kansas, and I've seen picket fences, and certain E minor seventh, very easy chord, as long as you don't play the A, and certain F sharp seventh augmented. Again, I do this in a more standard way now. And certain cowboy dances. Now, just a little thing there. It's a C, and it sort of just goes C B, sorry C G C very quickly. But you, the bass is. So let me just get to that point. I've seen corn in Kansas and I've seen picket fences 
Oh yeah, I forgot about that bit. That's like a part of a D chord with an F sharp bass. Let me start again. Oh, I've seen corn in Kansas And I've seen picket fences E minor seventh Certain cowboy F sharp seventh or winted Dances yeah. I've gone lying in D, sharp, uh, D with F sharp bass Up for G Sometimes I think he plays with a, a added ninth there on the A. I've seen picket fences and certain cowboy dances. Sorry, I forgot where I was. Here we go. I've gone lining up for shows. I've been safely. E minor seventh placed, F sharp seventh augmented, in rows, sure C, D, goes. Let's play the whole thing. Well, I've seen corn in Kansas, and I've seen picket fences, and certain cowboy dances. I've gone lining up for shows I've been safely placed in rows Sure I know how it goes Then that's really it, into the verse again um, The only, oh actually on the, th on the third or fourth verse Just one tiny little difference which is um, I'm trying to think of the lyric of the uh, Big Moon Land. This is the fourth verse. People all standing up, smile for the loved ones. They go walking on down the aisle. Now, they introduce the third and fourth verse the A, and then I play the B string. And then go up to the C sharp minor. So, big moon landing. People all standing up, smile for the loved ones. They go walking on down the aisle. Each reengages. And the rest of the uh, verse, of this, uh, verse 3 and 4 are the same. Um, and on the end, um, I mean, I sort of made up a, an ending anyway, so it just basically goes round. And you repeat that as many times as you want. Um, and then at the end, at some point I go into that now if that was the end of a chorus that would drop into the E9 for the next verse but I chose I'm not sure if that's how James Taylor ends it but I drop into like the bridge called the opening E minor ninth and then I do a D with a D sharp uh, F sharp bass and then a, a G with added ninth there we are thank you very much uh, i hope that helps uh, if any of you like that song